Who is this coming from Eden, from Bozrah, with his garments stained crimson? Who is this robed in splendor, striding forward in the greatness of his strength? It is I, speaking in righteousness, mighty to save. I will tell of the kindnesses of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for the house of Israel, according to his compassion and many kindnesses. The Lord lives. Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God, my Savior. I will praise you among the nations, O Lord. I will sing praises to your name. You give your kings great victories, and you show unfailing kindness to your anointed. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with deep compassion I will bring you back. In a surge of anger I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I will have compassion on you. You have loved us with an everlasting love. You have drawn us with loving kindness. You will build us up again. We will be rebuilt. For you are the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth in those you delight. Lord, you are full of pity and tender mercy. Speak gentle words to your people. You have led your people with cords of human kindness and with ties of love. You lifted the yoke from their neck and bent down to feed them. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine, and your Father is the gardener. Cultivate within the hearts of your people the tenderness of your love. You are our faithful husbandman. You will guide us always. You will satisfy our needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen our frame. We will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. You tend your flock like a shepherd. You gather the lambs in your arms and carry them close to your heart. You gently lead those who have young. You will not grow tired or weary, and your understanding no one can fathom. You give strength to the weary, and you increase the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Lord, the great call of the kingdom of God is to come to you, all who are weary and burdened, and you will give them rest. To take your yoke and to learn from you, for you are gentle and humble in heart, and we will find rest for our souls. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. When the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his great mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having the hope of eternal life. O oh, my strength, I watch for you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. I will sing of your strength. We will proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. We praise you for your tender love between us because you dwell in our hearts. Keep us, Lord, in that love so we can be filled with all the fullness of God. And may our lives reflect the great compassion and gentleness of your heart so that others may experience the tender touch of God and be lifted from the muck and mire of this world into the holy presence of God. We adore you, Lord Jesus, and give glory and honor to your wonderful name. Amen.